afternoon everybody my name is crystal if you like my videos please smash that like button please do subscribe i'm here in my flat in rochester the time is it's 1 38 pm in the afternoon it's been raining outside on and off so it's dull and dark outside um so if we recap what's gone on throughout the day we we've got a stalker we've we've got a stalker we, we've got a stalker we've got somebody that goes down my videos morning noon and night listens to every single word they can tell me everything in the video i've said that they very often um, text me and said you've done this and you've done that so they know my phone number as well they know my email address right so it's an incessant stalker they actually listen word for word everything I say um, which is it's unusual because when I watch a film or I watch a video I always miss something there's always something that you miss and when you go and see the film the second time then you see it properly and the third and fourth time you, you oh I didn't realize they said that and whatever so this person is a fanatic and it's really 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 strange even I can't remember everything everybody said they must um, they must have a collection of my videos on their computer and just sit down, watch their dinner, have their breakfast, da, 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 and listen to absolutely everything I've said. Um, so we're going to recap what's going on. So this morning, somebody texted me first thing, great, great long, like a, a you know, a lecture. Uh, of, they know my mum's birthday. And my mum is an old lady of nearly 80 who has breathing difficulty and mobility problems and she likes to clean. My mum has always got the hoover out cleaning the hoover. I hate cleaning. My mum would tell you this. I hate cleaning. I hate it. I hate because my ex-husband had an obsession with cleaning and I hate cleaning. Hate it. So I went out after this message and I walked up the road like I normally do and you've got all the cleaners outside the co-op yapping. The cleaners, male, female, all the cleaners in a circle um, outside the co-op and I didn't go in there this morning. Because I, 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 and I want to go into a, a, a shop to shop. I don't, I don't want an audience. So I walked past them on the opposite side of the road and I walked onto the field and there was a man with his dog sat on the path. A guy with glasses with his big dog sat on the path. And I walked away from him. And another woman came towards this guy with the dog and the dog started to get aggressive. So I'm glad I didn't walk near the dog this morning. And the guy with the orange fluorescent gear on was on the field like he was yesterday. And there was this woman with a mobile phone and she was walking up and down where I did a video last night. I did a video on TikTok last night where she was walking and I thought why have you got sunglasses on it's raining it's raining so she was walking like she was a film star up and down the path parading with her mobile phone and talking really loudly and she had a dog with her and I just walked away from her I walked away I, I, I don't want to meet a man or a woman I just want to be left alone and walk around the field with my dog. I don't want to meet anybody, right? And I certainly don't want to, to a dog jumping all over me either. So I just walked away from it and I, I came home. And I sat in my flat and I've been on and off listening to the radio. I On and off, people text me off of TikTok. 
and you get new friend requests i don't know these people they're being stupid they're being silly uh, half of them get blocked or reported and that's it that's what it's been like all day and i'm trying to move out of this flat and hopefully i will at some point get out of here out of this prison i'm living in away from these people i don't even know that are just bullying me just because they want a reaction they think if they do these things i'm going to get cross and then they start laughing at me because they've got me angry and that's not very nice that is nasty that's horrible it's horrible so i'm going to show you my post and i purposely haven't gone out to the co-op this afternoon because I need to save money for my gas, my electric, because I've got this huge council tax bill. So I'm not going to go out willy-nilly if I get any money and splurge it on rubbish, right? So don't get the wrong idea. I might, I'm gonna have to, I might have to go out and get cat and dog food in a few bits and pieces. And I'm grateful for this money, right? I'm grateful for what my mum sent me. But it does not make up for, for this performance that goes on every day of my life when I leave my front door. We first go on to a dog is for life. This is from the Dogs Trust, right? Now, I unsubscribed from the Dogs Trust, so I don't know why I'm getting a letter from the Dogs Trust. I cancelled the direct debit because I wasn't happy what I was receiving for my money. Dogs Trust, a grey-haired man on the front and a chihuahua on the back. Will you be part of the next life-saving rescue mission? This has come from Harlow, which I believe is in Essex. It's addressed to Miss Marshall, I'm a woman. Miss, dear Miss Marshall, Violet didn't know it, but when we picked her up, she was just days away from being put to sleep. That's often the heartbreaking outcome for dogs who are taken into local pounds across the UK with limited space and no owner coming to collect them. The pounds have no choice but to make this devastating decision. My name is Paul and I'm a driver for Dogs Trust Dog Ambulance Service. There are five of us who travel across the country to rescue vulnerable dogs from their fate and bring them to the safety of Dogs Trust Care. We are out there saving dogs lives every day and I couldn't be prouder. But in the last year, there have been over 7,000 more stray dogs in need of rescue than the previous year. Will you give £5 today to help rescue more dogs who are facing the end of the road? At 15 years old, Violet needed rescuing urgently. What was the name of the guy that sent me high-heeled shoes, tights and balloons to perform? Paul. So that's Paul, we've got £40 here, £40, obviously the, 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 the notes have not got the Queen uh, Charles's head on them yet, CM54DD8H, remember that the guy upstairs has got rid of his Ford Mondeo, so CK54 is no longer in action so that's irrelevant as well i don't drive a car looks like 333 on the back of the letter this is a letter from my mother jennifer and it looks like a, to me that looks like a cat's face on the back of it someone's drawn like a cat's face eyes nose and whiskers and we've got two king charles stamp two 3.40pm, 
21st of April, Sunday afternoon. So my mother Jennifer wrote this on a Sunday afternoon. Dear Janestra, just a short note. I hope to see you sometime next week. It was also good to see you last week and it was nice for you to bring your dog Max with you to me. As I say, this is just a short note. Enclosed is £40. Bye for now, Mum. So that's a letter from my mother Jennifer who said that on Sunday afternoon, which I, I've got it Tuesday, which is good. Because there'd be no collection on a Sunday. I had no post yesterday. That is my post today. So Paul wanted me to dress up like some kind of whore popping balloons in high heeled shoes and I refused to do it. And um, we've got a letter with Paul in it and £40. And I've got to be careful with money, uh, but I obviously need to look after my pets uh, and I need things for my pets, but I'm not desperate today. I did not go out straight after the money that I went downstairs to get it. There was cleaners hovering in the building, panting like my mum. My mum gets out of breath. My father Derek's been dead for two years, so I go up to see my mother. So they put some kind of hor horrific smelling disinfectant that made me feel faint when I came back upstairs. Nearly fell down the stairs. It's absolutely disgusting. They're in the, the lift later than normal, cleaning. So they normally clean about between nine and half past ten. They're in the building near lunchtime and I'm sniffing and inhaling some horrific disinfectant smell which makes me feel dizzy and this guy upstairs is going to come home probably after I've walked my dog hopefully we won't bump into each other like I nearly did yesterday hopefully see you later